everyone i hope all of you are doing great in this lesson we are going to learn about ansible variables now there are many types of variables which are available in ansible and again depending on what you want to achieve you can make use of any of these variables so in this lesson we are going to learn about some of these variables type but it is not limited to only these there are many many more variable types but these are the ones which are more frequently used or more regularly used. so defining a variable is quite easy all you have to do is just give the name of the variable and then you can just provide the value of the variable let's go ahead and start creating a simple variable a simple playbook with variables now i have actually already created one but i think we'll go uh, we will see that later on let's create a new file and in this new file let's call it where's example let's go ahead and give it a name so first of all we are going to create uh, what is called playbook variable so first we are going to create a playbook and under the playbook we are going to uh, create a play so let's call it variable example and hosts let's go to 192.68.1.19 now in the gather facts let's keep it to no because we don't really want to waste time collecting the information which we are not going to use and under the task now we can uh, provide name of a task so let's call it show variables value okay so in this uh, task we are just going to to use debug module which is going to show value of a variable now let's say we are going to use a variable which is called http port now right now this variable is not available but let's see what happens if i try to run this here you can see we have okay so there is error because this host name is not defined in in our inventory file which is host so let's put this and now let's rerun it now here you can see we have got some error and here you can see the error is the error http port is undefined okay so we are using a variable which we have not defined yet so in order to define it in the play we can use where's and under where's we can use the variable name and value so let's say we are going to use http port and value for this is uh, 80 and again you can define mul multiple variables so for example you can say uh, user and you can tell user is going to be admin and probably let's say if you want to define something else like bar you can do that as well we have defined three variables but we are going to display value of only one variable and let's run it so here you can see it has successfully executed and in the message we can see value of 80 okay, rather here we can type port is and then we can rerun it now let me clear the screen once now you can see we have have I saved it? I think I haven't saved it. Let me save and rerun it. So here you can see message is port is 80. Okay, now if I want to use other variable like user, user, and then you can also show path username is this, path is this. Okay, save it. And let me just scroll it towards right okay now we are running it again and here you can see now we can see port is 80 username is admin path is this path now what we can do is we can also define a variable at task level so for example uh, let's say we have a task here and under this task we also want to define variable which is called let's say admin user name now i'm just going to get rid of these we will just show one play level variable and then we will show one task level variable let's clear the screen run it again and here you can see port is 80 so this variable we had defined here and the other variable which is at task level is available here this is the value of admin username variable now remember one thing each variable has some precedence so for example here on the play level we are saying http port value is 80 but if I define the same variable on task level, for example, HTTP port and change it to, let's say, 90, save it and run it. Then here you can see the value which we are getting is 90. The reason why we are getting value of 90 is because this is a task level variable and task level variable is having higher precedence than variable which is defined at play level, which is HTTP port of 80. So again, uh, let's say you have you have defined a variable which is having a default value, but in one of your tasks, you want to just uh, use a different value. In that case, you can use task level variable and update its value. So this is like play level and task level uh, variable. Now we are going to talk about inventory level variable. So 
in the various example let's get rid of or uh, let's let let's get rid of these variables and let's go to our inventory file which is called hosts file if you are following up uh, previous lessons you will be knowing these now let's say we have a server which is obviously we have in sent under central servers we have four servers and let's say for each of these servers we have let's say tomcat path and we have tomcat installed maybe uh, at different location for each of these servers and if we are trying to manage Tomcat services, probably we want to know the path of the Tomcat. Okay, so in that case, what we can do is we can define inventory level variables. So for example, let's say we know that on these two servers, which is 20 and 21, Tomcat path is under slash TMP. So we can define that here. And we know on 19 server, Tomcat path is under slash OPT. So now what we can do is uh, th these variables we have defined here in our inventory file. So we can uh, go to our playbook and here we can use uh, that variable. Now here rather than HTTP port, let's use Tomcat path and we can still continue to use admin username because we have defined admin username here. Now if I save it, let's clear the screen, run it. Now here you can see uh, we didn't change the message. So it should be Tomcat path. But anyways, you can see that it is showing us value of slash opt. So this is how we define inventory level variable. The other thing which we have is group variable. Now, if you see in this inventory example, if you see for these two servers, I had given similar path. So rather than uh, giving this value two times, can I define a variable which is you know based on group? Yes, we can do that. So what we can do is we can uh, we can create a new group. Let's say we call it sent to a server one and then create a another group for this one and let's call it sent over server two. And now we can copy this group name, come to the, now again, if you want to define variable here, you can do it here as well. But typically you will see people using, uh, in the end of the file, in, in the end of the inventory file, they are defining all the variables, but you can do that here as well. So we can say sent to a servers colon vs. And here we can define variable name. Now we can remove it from here. And again, for sent to a servers two also, we can create group variable, which is colon vs. And here also we can define the same. Save it, go to your variable example, and let's run it again. You can see we are getting tomcat path is slash opt uh, because value of this tomcat path is coming from group variable so, which is in inventory file so this server 192.168.119 belongs to this group which is sent to a server 2 you can see this ip address here so whatever variable we define here is going to be accessed in our playbook now if i change it to slash opt slash let's say temp dir I can just go ahead and rerun my playbook. You can see this value has changed. So you can see here without, you know, someone actually going and modifying the values or playing or editing the Ansible playbook, they can still change the value of the variables. So this playbook acts differently. Okay. So again, you may uh, come across different scenarios when you would like to use inventory variable or group variable. So you can do that as well. Now the another type of variable which we have is called environment variable. Many a times you will have some application which requires some sort of environment variable. And if you want to manage those services, you, you need to know the value of that variable before you want to do something. So for example, uh, this is again sent to a server. So in sent to a server, in order to set environment variable, what we do is we write export, then we write name of the variable. So for example, uh, let's call it java underscore path and we set its value to slash let's say tmp hit enter now this variable has been set if you want to see the value of this variable you can do echo dollar java underscore path hit enter you see the value of java path variable name okay this is on the server level now what if i use uh, if i want to use the same variable name in my playbook so i can do that for that one i have to use this one I have to use lookup. So here, let's just copy lookup and let's remove this. And we can we can write name of the environment variable which we want to use, which is Java underscore path. And here we can write some message. Java is installed at. Now let's go ahead and run the playbook. Here you can see Java installed at whatever value of Java path it has it has picked this value from 
from the target node, which is this node. And from there, whatever value was set for Java path, it is showing that value. So we just set up Java path to slash TMP. So you can see that value here. So this is an example of uh, environment variable. Now we have something called extra variables. So while uh, let's say we have defined everything, we have, you know, we have, let's say, uh, let's define a variable called HTTP port 80. And let's say we have a program which is, which let's assume we have a program which installs um, Apache, Tomcat, or maybe any, any other web server. Okay. Now while installing this, we want to, uh, at the runtime, we want to we want to basically provide the value of the port on which these uh, servers services should be listening to so in that case for example if i run this now uh, http port let's also remove these task level variables just to keep things simple now if i run it now you can see the value of http port is 80 Let's in fact remove this message. Okay, value of HTTP port is 80. Let me clear the screen. Now what we will do is, while running this playbook, we will write hyphen hyphen extra bears. And then here we will change the value or basically we are going to provide the value of HTTP port and we are going to change it to let's say 100 or maybe 8080. Hit enter. And now you can see what has happened. So whatever variable which you had defined here at play level has got overridden by the variable which you have defined at the time of execution. So uh, this is basically you know, overriding any variable which have been defined at task level or play level at the time of execution. So that's all in this lesson. I hope whatever we have learned in this video, you are going to make use of you know, when you are working in production or you are going to work at uh, work in your job and hope the video has been helpful. If you need any help, do comment or you can also subscribe to my channel, share the video if you like, share uh, with the people who want to learn Ansible as well. If you have any recommendation, uh, do let me know in the comment box as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next lesson.